All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to talk about NS of Post, which is an NS of Project, but an open source ecosystem for material science, OSMAS. My name is Zeke Leo from Pennsylvania State University, and also from the Material Genome Foundation. We want to thank IBM for providing the cloud service for this workshop. I will give you a brief introduction about NS of Post Project. NSF started a program called a path to sustaining a new open, open source ecosystem we applied for material science. And on this web link, you will be able to find the abstract of this project. And this project is a joint one between Pennsylvania State University and the nonprofit Material Genome Foundation, which is, was incorporated by Dr. Richard Otis and I back in 2018. The objectives of MGF is to harness the power of open source development for the creation of new technology solutions to problems of national societal importance, enable the growth of existing open source materials research tools into a sustainable and robust open source ecosystem. And this is our grand plan for, for the a, for this project, and from my my group and also my Gino Foundation, we have a, a number of tools, including DFTK, which we had a workshop last December, Superfins today, and we have Crystal R for for structure discovery, and also the inverse design. It's uh, from Penn State. This the uh, uh, tools. And then for those tools, we generate the database. We call a portal data, and we through a mainly MPDD. That's another a code. We hope we can have it in the workshop from very soon. And with the, a DFTTK from density functional theory and SVJSON, a database. For the database databases or data repositories, we create a Kafka type of databases. It's packed on SV. And Carl Wine is a tool which Richard and, and his student has been developed, have been developing, developing to do a phase transformation simulation. And then we, of course, we want to work with the community, uh, given the databases. And as, as you will see, that CPFM or MPDD actually has all the database, <coughs> sorry, included. And also a number of tools in the community. And we hope that put all together, we can really a put this uh, tools and data together. We call it OSMATS, Open Source Ecosystem for Material Science. Then we can connect to the broader community, for example, OpenMed API to consumers. And then we also hope that in the new project we're working on, develop another tool called Zentropy. It stands for Zentropy. It's Z plus Entropy. And our new tools to predict uh, a transformative properties could not be predicted before. If you Google Zentropy, you will find some of our recent publications and some old publications uh, and, and uh, 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 without this Zentropy name. Material Genome Foundation, as I mentioned, is a nonprofit organization incorporated in 2018 in Pennsylvania, United States. It's co-founded by Richard Otis and me. The goal is to promote the tools and the computational approaches and support development of computational tools and databases. We have three major activities. One is to organize workshops like the one today. And we also want to provide those services to you. For example, if you have a tool, you would like to use this platform to, to, to give workshops about your tools. We can discuss that. They want to de really develop an open source ecosystem for material science. Hope, hope to include the available tools in the community. The idea would be, as you will see today, each user has a pod, has the tools, has the a, 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 a tools and data to calculations. Okay, so you can access from your mobile device, from desktop, from anywhere in the world. So this Jupyter Hub and access all the individual user pod uh, to do those, uh, the calculations. Uh, in, uh, simultaneously with the instructor, which today would be Adam Kurievsky. 
Oh, got two of them. And uh, the idea is really that, uh, you know, in this in industrial revolution, uh, 4.0 is about digitization. If you look at manufacturing of materials, we talk about the process of materials for multiple properties that control the formation of the phases. That's the key, I mean, the, the morphologies. And the phase stability is basically thermodynamics. <clears throat> 150 years ago, a, was the combined law was formulated by Gibbs. A hundred years later, the digitization of thermodynamics was formulated by Larry Kaufman and from the Kaifa Data Foundation. As uh, many of you know that today, Kaifa databases are widely used uh, in the world in the most uh, uh, companies deal with the materials. So the really central question I want to emphasize here is that <clears throat> is thermodynamics for equilibrium only? And actually it's not. The first law doesn't say that. However, the Gibbs combined law says that. It's only for equilibrium. So if we put the second law back into the equation derived by Gibbs, then we get extra term here. Then it becomes non-equilibrium. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Then we do the Gibbs energy for non-equilibrium system. Again, we get the extra term here. And that's the power of the Kaifat modeling including today's work, a uh, workshop by, by Adam, is that if energy is not only a function of temperature, pressure, composition, but also the internal degree of freedom. And the internal degree of freedom, we call internal state of variables, could be many, like long stable structures, like pieces of copper, ordering, polarization, effects. Okay, so it's very broad, covers everything not covered by equilibrium states. So Kaifa does that model for energy of individual phases, and the, uh, also atomic mobilities and other properties, even interfaces between phases. And we have a community which have the annual conference. The next one's in Boston in June. I uh, hope uh, some of you will join us. We have a profit, non-profit foundation which supports scholarships, provides scholarships and awards. We have a cover journal since 1977. We have tools and databases, as I mentioned, the commercial databases and tools are broadly used by the industry, and the open source tools are also being used by industry now. <laughs> and uh, I just get one slide about the modeling. It's really to, dis to develop the Gibbs energy of individual phases as a function of temperature, pressure, composition, and the internal degree of freedom. So we need data from, DFT, from the derivatives of Gibbs energy, from DFT, and from machine learning. The so machine learning will make this process much more efficient. We also need a phase equilibrium data to refine the parameters. Our hope is that in the future, we may not need this one. Oh, get some for Zentropy where I mentioned. We start with pure elements, binary and terminal and multi component systems, then with the material design, the equilibrium, driving forces, the physical chemical properties, so the first and second derivatives. That's what we call the materials genome. Okay, so input the data, we have the experiments, of course, but the experiments are mostly like equilibrium state. We have estimation, okay, that's by knowledge, has large uncertainty, and the quantum mechanics, but mostly for ground state. And the Zentropy, as I mentioned earlier, combines a density functional theory or quantum mechanics with the statistical mechanics. And the last one is machine learning. As everybody knows, that machine learning is becoming more and more powerful. So make it the process much more efficient. In this way, we have been working on, we got ocean of data with data generation with DFT, TK, and the SIPFM we talk about today, and the, the MPTD database, which is also developed by Adam. We have compiled data for different purposes. And we do data processing with the PyCavern SBA, which we have workshops for the last several years. We continue to have them, and also uncertain quantification. And the most importantly, we want to spread the knowledge to the community. So I have this uh, a material genome foundation to do that. So to summarize it, we basically want to create data through so different uh, approach, uh, process and generate database and do material design and get a new data in the system and even include materials to recycle uh, data and continue to cycle. We got the data ecosystem. With that one, I want to thank you for your for your joining this program, uh, this uh, workshop, and uh, I hope you will learn a lot of things from Adam, and uh, use these uh, approaches in your work in the future. Thank you very much, Adam. It's yours now. <laughs>